put the eggs in there. And but you don't need that particular leaf. You can use. That's not bad. Now on the bottom, it see like white. That's insect eggs. Mm. So you don't want them. I mean, if you boil them, they're gonna die. But you want to try to get them without that if you possibly can. So you use the leaves and the stem. Use the leaves and the stem. Kind of looks like a hand, like a claw. Mugwort. He found mugwort. Oh, shit, I need mugwort. <laughs> mugwort? Yeah. Now in the front one. Oh, jeez. We got a bush right over yeah. there. I didn't hear about this one. Oh shit, I'm sorry. You ever heard of burning moxa? Yeah. Moxa is a mugwort. Excuse me. Excuse me. And um, parasites inside the body. Where was the mugwort? They talk about it a lot in the Bible. They call it wormwood. This. This. And there's a whole bunch of it down there. I'm going to step over here in a minute. It's also good for spiritual bath. You can make a tea out of it. And bathe with I have no scissors. Oh my god, I ripped the roots off. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> now you see the whole Oops. work pack? I'm about to dry this. Yeah, I'm surrounded by mugwort. Mugwort. Alright. Hickory tree. Hmm? Kind of bitter though. I'm sorry, I, I, I feel so now, bad. I down to here, lose. this is called jewel weed. It typically, like when it gets in its maturity, it's going to have little yellow or little orange flowers on it. This is one of the plants that you can use, like if you catch poison ivy or a bug bites you. Or you get like scratched up by little thorns, you can squish this up and put it on there. Now, this is not NOT, not to be taken internally. All right, it was somebody that made a tincture out of this one time and it was fatal. It wasn't one of the people that we know. Thank goodness. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that's called jewel weed. So this is an external wash, right? Mm -hmm. I made a batch of this last year. I put it, soak it in alcohol. And I use it, like if I get bit up by different bugs. Mm -hmm. And it helps to nullify that effect. All right? Mm -hmm. We'll show you more. Now, if you see jewel weed, know that you're close to water. Mm. All right. Okay, let's walk around. All right, who knows what this little plant is right here? Mm. What is it? Mm. Hi. Hi. That's a, a. That's not the same thing. Holly? No, it is the same. All right. This is the wild cherry. Oh. There's probably about six different types of cherries that are indigenous to this area, and all of them are big.
beneficial for respiratory. Right. Here's some more nettles. That's the that's the uh, classic nettle. It has a little seed pods and it has serrated looking leaves. Nettle is in the mint family. So you're gonna see the characteristic square stem and it's got the little ferns all over it. So, I like the way this one is. I bug holes in it. So, I wouldn't pick it from right there. Mm. Nettle can be in a semi shaded area. Like, you know, that some of the herbs don't like to be in the shade, mm -hmm. so they're only growing in full sun. Now this tree here, the medical world try to discourage us from using this plant. A lot of the plants that will really, really heal you very wonderfully, they outlaw them. <laughs> And this is one of them that got outlawed. It's called sassafras. Mm, sassafras. Now sassafras is the plant that root beer is made out of. <laughs> out of the root, right? So typically we use, we take a root, generally from a smaller plant than this, which I'll show you some smaller ones. Those plants, when you make a tea out of the root, it's good as what they call a spring tonic. Meaning that as you were sedentary during the winter mm. and a lot of um, sediment develop in your blood, and you use this and it dissolves it and moves it out of you. So you uh, be able to urinate it out. Mm. Take the clipping off of something like this to start it. <laughs> like you said, my male sassafras tree? Any, yeah. any tree. Every tree don't function like that. Okay. The female tree, like a lot of trees are male and female. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, certain trees are male, like in an example, the ginkgo tree, mm -hmm. which has a male tree and it has a female tree. The female is the ones that let the little stink berries off. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the sassafras tree, I don't know about a male and female. You know about a male and female sister? What about a sycamore? Huh? Male and female? Sycamore. 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 That's a fresh you use the root. Now, look at the tree that's kind of light colored, that's at a distance, right? And it's crickly and it got little tiny leaves. That is a white willow tree. Wow. Thank you. A white willow. Now there's another tree that has the same kind of leaves is called a weeping willow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which kind of blows and swings in the wind. Now, it's a white butterfly. Willows, they are known for the chemical substance that's inside it, which is like a natural aspirin. Mm -hmm. So it's called salicylic acid. The aspirin is acetyl salicylic acid. Man-made, right? Some people call this the headache tree. <laughs> so if you have a headache, you got migraines and all that, and you make tea with that willow bark, it will help to dissolve all of that and help to diminish the swelling and make you be able to be okay, right? Great. If you get enough, you're going to get a little buzz. <laughs> so yeah, willow. But when we get up close to willow, I'm gonna identify it again so that you can see it. Hmm? We'll, we'll cover with it.
Right. Like the smell. Did it have a little polka dots on it? What's it called? All right. So that little well, black this has polka dot bug, and peppermint that's in the it. baby um, of the spotted lantern. This fly. is really like, this is the most invasive. you could use it to massage your body oh, yes, or yeah. if you got it's sore muscles. Your but insects yeah. don't like the smell. Yeah, peppermint, so especially <laughs> peppermint, yeah. yeah. All right, so now in that area over there is a little creek. That's why you're seeing all these kind of if you see nettle, nettle is always near water. You enjoying yourself? Okay, what is it? A tree. Alright, is is a question on the table up here. The cherry tree. No, I don't know. What no, is it's it? not no, it's not, no, it's not. What is it? What is it? Well, what is it? Edges. So it could be a cherry tree, birch tree. No, it is a cherry tree. Yeah, a cherry I was right. Tree. Yes. Yeah. You can smell it. The edges. I see it. Little what cherries. What is it? Look, it's not a cherry tree. I could have sworn. How many leaves are on it? A lot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, look at the fruits on it. It's a cherry tree. A wild cherry? Look at that bug. Look at nope. it, little tiny oh, boy, No. Wow, apple tree. Hey. Oh. See the little crab apple? See the little crab baby apple apples tree. on there? Oh. Can you, can you? Can you? Is that a right? Hmm? Nope. They don't look right. No. They gotta be red and they gotta be big. That's what I had in my hand. How long will that take? Oh, we just walking. Trying to figure out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, you see the apple tree? You notice that the stem is kind of gray. So some people call it a crab apple tree. Although crabs do not eat those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My phone on ten percent. Good thing I got this. <laughs> a maple oh, I got tree. A good one for you. All right, Looks now, like if you it. get this one right, it goes to the head of the class. <laughs> All right, everybody, come on in. Uh, All right. What is this? Oh, these things are not like the other. <laughs> oh, Emma? No. Mm -hmm. Black bird? Black bird? Mm -hmm. All right, what is it? What is it? What is it? That's not. Definitely not a cherry. That's it. That could be in the bird. Well, it could be because there's a little bit of so definitely a fruit. Another apple tree. No. <laughs> yeah, that's another wild apple. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you a little key. Usually, where there's one type of tree, it's one generally, its family is there too. Mm -hmm. so. The squad. All right, here you go. Now, mind you, this is an area where people stomp on the plants and everything, so mm -hmm. a lot of the ones we see are not very big. This plant here. Okay. It's got one big leaf at the tip and two small supporting leaves. So... And it's got reddish color stickers all over it. So that's called red raspberry. Oh. So if that reaches maturity, it will give off some very sweet, tasty berries that are really good for your blood. Even the leaves are good for your blood. And 5%. It's particularly excellent in female formulas to help your circulation and also to help with the quality of your muscles and your elasticity and keeping the feminine hormone balance in a good way. Right? So you could take those leaves yeah, and just that. make a tea out of it? Make a tea with it. 
Yes, now, indeed. next door is black raspberry. Wow. What's this for? Huh? What's this for? Blackberry is good for the same things that the red raspberry is. The red berry is a little more fluid. But all of those berries like that are really good laxatives too. Mm -hmm. It's a natural laxative. You dry those off? You can. You don't have to. You can eat them right off the bush. Oh, wow. Again, we have a spice bush here. So that's a nice one. I'm done three percent. 